to the world's first cycling vlog. Well, I'm not sure it's the world's very first cycling vlog, but definitely my first cycling vlog. Uh, it's July 1st here in Canada. It is Canada Day. I'm on two weeks holidays and I'm just going for an hour ride to do some three minute intervals. So, you guys are going to join me. So let's go have some fun and feel some pain. So it's my kind of day here where I live. It's 18 Celsius and overcast. My favorite temperatures to ride would be 15 Celsius to 20 Celsius. I can ride in shorts, usually with long sleeves. Once it gets above 20 Celsius, it starts getting warmer than I like, really. And below 15, uh, shorts get uncomfortable. Usually have to throw on some leg warmers or some tights. So it's a good day for intervals. Hard to overheat. Just enough coolness in the air to make it comfortable. My Cannondale with a lefty fork. I don't know if anyone has the same problem I have with a lefty. It's an amazing fork. It's a 2006 model, but it's almost the perfect fork for me. Uh, 100 mils of travel. It has the Fox Terralogic valve. So essentially the fork doesn't have a full lockout. It has an adjustable bump force. So basically you can adjust how much bump force it takes to activate the travel. It's almost perfect. Basically anytime you're out of the saddle, it's completely locked out. I have it set up that I'd have to hit a pretty large pothole before it would initiate the travel. On your left, listening to music, can't even hear me. I hate MP3, iPods, etc. What are they talking about? Fork. Yeah. Amazing fork. Light, stiff, does almost exactly what I want. Rigid when I need it to be absorbs force when I want it to, but with the lefty design, I cannot ride this bike, no hands. Only for a few meters, then it starts to veer. So I don't know if anybody else has those problems with it. It wants to torque to one side. Just some lefty trivia for you. We're coming up onto where I'm going to be doing my intervals. It's a paved loop. In the center of the loop are a bunch of soccer fields and baseball diamonds. And on the outside of the loop is a city run and owned golf course. It'll be very quiet, virtually no traffic. Takes around three minutes to do the loop. I like to do my intervals with a specific start and stop point. I hate having to look at my watch and seeing, oh, I got two minutes left. This hurts. I like to know I have a finish line and I can focus on that. I find it less mentally stressful. Okay, so here we go. Essentially gonna try to keep my heart rate between 155, 160 for the duration, maybe go over 160 near the end. Fifty-nine. 
half kilometers an hour. Heart rate at 161. Feel great today. I know I'm not feeling good, and I have to get out of the saddle a lot. I feel like I have to. I can't turn over a big gear in the saddle. Barely going over 20 miles an hour. I am mortal. You're 40 years old in August. In a cross headwind, start turning into a slight tailwind. Heart rate down to 157. That's more comfortable. Kick it up a notch. In a 4412, it's the biggest gear on this bike. About 20 seconds left. Right up to 160. Finish off on the bridge. Uh, RA 163. <laughs> so I'd estimate my anaerobic threshold in the mid to high 150s. Anyways, I'm sure you don't want to watch or listen to me do one of those again. So I got four more of those to do. Recover for about five minutes. And then maybe I'll just show you a little more about what's going on in my city. Thanks. Welcome back. So I did four intervals over at the Chapel's Loop. Uh, I left a little early because it was taking too long. It's going to take over an hour, so I'm going to do the last interval on my way home here. First interval I did felt like crap. It usually does. Second one felt a little better. Third and fourth, I felt pretty good. So we'll see how I feel on the last one. It's been a bit longer of a recovery phase than the first four. So once we cross the street, We'll start. Here we go. We'll cut into the bike path. And then it's gradual uphill. It goes up in little steps.
until it falls flat. RA-159, 160, another rise. A little downhill, flattened out. Another rise. Out. Heart rate Flat RA one sixty five. I definitely went lactic. University property. That's the medical school there on the left. Northern Ontario School of Medicine. Okay, losing focus here. Heart rate down at 157. Kick it up. Back up to 160. Finish it up at the end of this path. Kick it up a notch. All right, one sixty four. 